stressful time limits, optic mark recognition forms, and hand cramp. We have entered the world of admissions tests. <laughs> Yes, the admissions test, or more specifically for you, the beam at the hat, the pat, the yeel at the step, or the tss. Huh, <laughs> did it in one take. Now, I hate admissions tests, but apparently they do serve some purpose. Now, that purpose is it helps universities discriminate between the abilities of certain students for very competitive courses. They also check to see if the applicant has the skill set required for the course that they are applying for. This is particularly useful if the course allows the students to be from a range of subject backgrounds. For instance, PPE is a really good example because you don't have to have studied PP or E, but you're still allowed to apply for the course. Remember that this is only part of the application process, they do consider all of the other factors when deciding whether to give you an offer or not. Now you need to know how to prepare for the admissions test. Well, the first thing you need to do is figure out which admissions tests you have to do, if any. As I mentioned in the first week's video, it will tell you in the course information on the Oxford website whether you actually have to sit an admissions test or not. If so, then I suggest you go to admissionstest.com, link is in the info. On their homepage you will find a list of all of the admissions tests and they have an FAQ section to answer all of your frequently asked questions, which is nice. But what you really want to know is how you can improve your potential score. Well the website actually says that you shouldn't do much preparation because they're actually trying to test your abilities now, however I do suggest that you do do some preparation because everybody else will most likely be doing some. So first thing, do some past papers. There are some papers on their website, however, if you do a quick Google, I'm sure you can find a lot more papers throughout all of the years that the test has been running. Now doing the past papers will let you get a feel for what kind of questions they're going to ask you, and it will let you get the timing right. Now timing is probably the most important thing, because for some of the exams you only have 108 seconds to answer each of the questions. As a result, working efficiently and accurately is a really important skill to develop for these admissions tests. As a tip, do double check whether you're allowed a calculator or not. I do believe it's highly unlikely you will be allowed a calculator, so if you are someone who struggles with mental maths, I suggest that you start practicing. Now the types of questions that you may get in the exam vary from mathematical ones, spatial awareness ones, reasoning ones, and essay questions, etc, etc. Again with the essay questions, practice writing the 30 minute essays. Now when I say practice writing them, I do mean time yourself. Try and plan for five minutes and then write the essay within 25. After you've done that, then read through it, identify parts that were weak, and then see how you can improve them in the future. Is your argument coherent? Is your spelling and grammar perfect? Have you paragraphed correctly? And the golden piece of advice that my tutor actually gave me this term is ATDQ. Answer the damn question. You have no idea how many people actually don't answer the question, and if you're not answering the question, then writing the essay is just a waste of time. Of course, do be creative with your answers. Show them you have flair and enthusiasm. Perhaps answer questions outside of your comfort zone to practice with, to allow you to think in different ways. In my actual TSA, I answered the question, why do we need banks? I argued in my essay that we don't actually need banks, and I had so much fun with it, the 30 minutes for the essay flew by. There are questions that you will be more comfortable answering, but I don't personally and they like giving conventional answers to questions, so do be creative, do have fun with the essay that you are writing. By going outside of your comfort zone, you're developing new ways of thinking, and in the actual exam, you can always go back to your comfort zone by playing it safe. If you do have a friend that you can trust who is also doing the same exam as you, I do suggest that you exchange essays to learn from each other. I did this and it allowed me to see different ways of writing and different ways of thinking about the same topic. All of this will contribute to enhancing your own writing and your own arguments. Also, the friend that I exchanged essays with is also reading PPE here, so you could argue that this technique also helped her. Another brilliant resource is the student room. Every year there is an admissions test thread in the Oxford section of the forum. In that thread you will find other people who have to take the admissions test, sharing their answers, sharing sharing past papers, sharing their essays, and just generally helping everybody get better. It's a really nice community and I do advise you to check it out. One tip though, don't start comparing yourself to the competition. It will most likely lead to you becoming demotivated, that's not what you should do, you should learn from them if they are better than you and improve. Now after sitting the test in November, the results of the exam are released between November and January depending on which exam you've sat. Again the exact details are on admissionstest.com. Now I don't have many tips on the admissions test that aren't already mentioned in the website that I've linked in the information part of the video, but I will say this. Skipping can be beneficial, so if you do find yourself stuck on a question, skip it. Most likely it won't be worth the time investment. Also, when filling in the OMR form, make sure that you are shading in the correct boxes. It's a really obvious thing, but when you're under quite intense time pressure, the obvious is less obvious. So there you have it, a video on the admissions test. I wish you the best of luck with your exam, and again, if you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section of this video. Until next time, I've been Jamie, 
Goodbye. Now, the better you do at the submissions test. Oh, God. Hold on. Got a phone call. One sec. Hello?